so certain features i will explain like uh, just i showed uh, what is the start menu kind of stuff so like that one by one few things you can able to see okay. <laughs> i comfortable is important i think that is enough okay start menu start screen kind of stuff so you can pin any program on your uh, tiles manner means in windows 8 it's completely metro style like a tablet mode only but here it is normal style it is like a, a, we have a start menu is there okay and you can select any program for a mate if any frequently used a program and you can able to uh, link on the uh, this tiles manner if you don't want it, you can remove it also. If you don't want, you can remove it also. You can make it is a smaller like this. See, these are all like a kind of stuff. You can look at here. Next, you can link uh, uh, to our uh, um, taskbar also. You can able to do it. So that is a start screen. Already I showed that's so why I'm not giving much details about it. So then next one is Hyper-V. Next one is I want to tell about a Hyper-V. Again, guys, my system is also home edition. I can't show you how Hyper-V is look like, but I will tell what is Hyper-V is a virtualization platform. Okay, what is Hyper-V? Virtualization platform. Virtualization platform you can create and run virtual machines in Hyper-V. Okay, Hyper-V is a virtualization platform. You can create a virtual machines and run the virtual machines. Okay, so in your machine, in your physical machine, you can run multiple virtual machines. You can run, you can run multiple guest OS in single physical machine so that is virtualization so that is a hyper v hyper v is a feature of feature built-in feature windows 10 pro windows 8 8.1 and 10 pro are a Enterprise edition is required, not in a home. Okay, not in home edition. Not in home edition. Don't think it is X home edition kind of stuff. Not available in home editions. Remember that. Okay, next. New and enhanced recovery tools. Okay, new and enhanced recovery tools. I will tell recovery tools. Yes, there is a certain recovery tools are there. So here it is. One option is reset option. In Windows 10, you have a reset option. In Windows 8, refresh and reset option. In the reset option, so we'll get a two options. It is you can go to settings. Go to settings. Update and security. Guys, for visibility only, I'm showing in my screen. Usually, you have to look at these things from your virtual machines only. Okay. So, go to recovery. Click on recovery. Reset this PC. Okay. If you are reset, if your PC is not running well, resetting it might help. This let you lets you choose to keep your personal files or uh, uh, remove them. Uh, and then a reinstall a Windows. So what it will do, it will reinstall your OS and remove apps and settings. And you can choose the personal file. Or remove. To keep 
your personal files are removed. So you can choose that one option. So if you click on, don't click it. So you know we are you are a very dangerous people. <laughs> what I tell. So when I say to get started, means you click on get started, uh, and there is an option and click immediately without mining about. So first click and then think. So then meantime, if something will damage your lacquer, so that's the problem. So that is it. okay. So one is the reset option is there under update and security. We can find reset option. Another option, same place only. Advance. Startup. Advanced startup. So if you go to the advanced startup, troubleshoot. You know already that is already explained how the screens are look like. So troubleshoot, advanced options. You'll get a, a different type of troubleshooting options also. Uh, uh, you will get it. Okay, so troubleshoot advanced options. Okay, so once you go to the advanced startup, then go to like this. You will get a startup repair. Means you got any problem, like a, when you start your computer and it is not starting, or it is giving some issues uh, related to that one. Okay, so then you will get a startup repair system image recovery. System image uh, recovery. Okay. System restore. System restore. Command line tools. You want to go with the command line tools. System repair. Okay. TVS version. V S S V V S version. C C C. My mind do sometimes don't connected to some spellings. Okay, sometimes it is very easy. So that's the problem. Okay. So you have to little bit uh, compromise in it. OK. Sir, why yes, is getting low, sir? Why is this low? Yes, sir. OK, OK. I have to speak loudly or what? OK, OK, so we'll see. Uh, these are the some advanced like a recovery tools. I am telling only few recovery tools. One is reset, advanced startups, and automatically if any problem is occur, so automatically take your uh, to the advanced options, troubleshoot and advanced options. In advanced options, you will get a startup repair, system recovery tools, UEFI, uh, framework settings, okay, system restoration. OK, uh, here's some comment from previous version. OK, so previous version roll back to previous version kind of stuff means if you updated recently, then you can also put your file. Framework. Setting. OK, yes. Yes, when we are in an online meeting, so usually like in online meeting through, uh, you know, like a WhatsApp call. You are unable to hear properly or not able to see properly disconnecting. The most of the thing is internet speed only. Most of the problem is internet speed only. OK, so compulsory check the internet speed. If in case you are unable to get proper speed. 30 is a OK speed. This is very important. Second one is also must maintain that range, 30, 40 range only. This must must be, this must must be equal. Upload, download, other things like here. You can type. The testing download is good. Uh, testing upload should be 
so it is keep changing itself i'm not doing that anyway okay if you got any again problem then uh, i will uh, change my i don't have any other internet here so i will put uh, some other usb kind of stuff okay reset advanced options some some examples i'm i'm telling just i'm trying to tell some example file history is also for a recovering your personal data profile data uh, in every hour or uh, every two hours every month okay. every year like this it backups your personal data kind of stuff okay so these are the recovery tools okay um again i will tell you don't don't worry so yeah how much how many things you understand that is very important okay windows to go it is available in the enterprise editions first of all is enterprise related one next when you want to move when you want to move from one place to another place when you are moving means roaming or moving means roaming moving from one place to another place kind of stuff okay so uh, you cannot carry your system a laptop desktop whatever it is your system pc or laptop you can't carry with it understand the situation you can't carry so what you are doing it connect a usb pen drive or a external hard disk and go to go to windows to go option just to go option format and load portables go to options and uh, do the required things so like a formatting a uh, loading kind of stuff okay so that's the point i tell so what i'm uh, what it is to do you have to do and when you go to that option what are the options are following you have to do it so make you can make um make the drive uh, as bootable drive that's it i format uh, and load your os and applications settings so actually what will happen here it is is copies okay. it copies entire entire system into into drive like a, like it is a, it can be a pen drive or external hard disk it copies entire system into drive it is a bootable drive okay so whenever you require 
do work with uh, your system uh, don't don't i will explain okay again okay so that's uh, just uh, whenever you uh, whenever you required to do whenever you required to do work with your system files or applications okay so what to do connect the drive to any pc any pc or laptop your wish and uh, boot from your usb drive boot from usb drive then os loads from the pen drive only okay you can work on it yes i i, I will tell once again so so don't worry yeah, it is if statement new one look at here guys this is your system laptop or desktop something is there now you have to go to somewhere so you can't carry your system with you for example what i might do is i will connect a a pen drive big pen drive 120 gb 32 gb like that i'll connect a pen drive or a external hard disk or ssd external ssd i connected to usb port okay then i'll go to windows to go option so what happened in my system i have a operating system right so in my system what are there os in my system i have operating system drivers applications i done some settings and user profile data users data personal data is there this entire thing goes into this pen drive only or uh, this external drive only it is there understand so your external hard disk or a pen drive contains your entire system now you are carrying this one now you are carrying this device now you went to somewhere you went to somewhere there you don't have your computer you only have your pen drive with you now your boss call you he is asking do this particular work okay so problem is it required an application the application is in your system only application is in your system that application won't uh, available in outside okay so compulsory you have to do the work with a certain application licensed application okay so what to do uh, find out go to uh, some uh, nearest internet center or maybe find out any of your friends a uh, computer connect this drive to the computer in the bios you have to change boot from usb drive boot from usb drive boot with this drive and you will get the same operating system application settings in this screen just use uh, instead of booting from your uh, the this computer's hard disk you are boot from this pen drive so what is there in a pen, this pen drive or a external hard disk it's your operating system your application settings user profile data only so you got your system in front of you you do your work work is completed and sent then shut down your computer remove the pen drive so this guy again will boot with a is local hard disk only this is a windows to go what is windows to go anywhere you go you can carry your operating system or entire system into a pen drive where ever you go you can carry
entire PC or laptop exactly say system entire system in a USB and drive or external hard disk or SSDs like that. Okay, so this is called a Windows to go. So what are the features I completed? Hyper-V recovery tools, Windows to go. Guys, understand uh, Windows to go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, it is very simple. You put a system into a pen drive. That's it. Cloud storage for cloud integration. Okay, few things are there. So first of all, I will go to cloud storage. Is OneDrive. OneDrive is one of the feature of Windows 10. Okay, one of the feature of one Windows 10. Right? We can store. data in store and access data in online and uh, offline feature is also there very simple already i think yeah this is the one drive if i keep this data i can access this data from my desktop and uh, through web browser also i can able to access one drive data OK, so that is your one drive. Next uh, in a cloud wise. In a cloud wise. You can sync. Your. Data or information. With uh, Microsoft. Email. With the Microsoft email or uh, email ID, usually email ID or uh, work email ID. And say account, work account. So different things are Microsoft account or a Microsoft email ID. So what is that meaning is look at here guys. I, I, I will get a, a contact list in my PC. So how it is? I have a mobile phone. So I have uh, earlier I had sorry Microsoft mobile I I used a, I have a Microsoft mobile that time okay that is a uh, eight and later it is updated to eight point one okay Microsoft eight then then I use uh, my uh, one Microsoft email ID uh, Outlook uh, related one so email id so that is uh, live uh, live kind of stuff okay so now uh, when i log in and i, I log in in a, uh, in my uh, windows 10 so both are syncing data uh, together so what are the contact list in windows 8 it is appear here what are the data is here it may be synced with this one it's just like a your contact list sync from one mobile to another mobile email id to another email id in the in your android phone same thing it is synchronize your data and information with the microsoft ml so you can access your data from anywhere calendar synchronization okay calendar calendar contacts this contacts also called as people. People, people synchronization, calendar synchronization, contact synchronizations. These are all uh, will be there. Favorites, favorites. OK, pictures. Yours. Okay, documents. 
these are all will sync with your cloud account from anywhere so that is uh, one of, one of the thing one of the, there are a lot of things are there so one of the thing cortana cortana is a voice base voice and uh, text base uh, search type such uh, uh, like a example okay google assistants okay like this you know siri assistants so. so this is my cortana which won't work properly earlier it is not at all working then it is working then now it is not working still i don't know why it is not working i have to sync any account or anything maybe i have to remove all my microsoft accounts cortana is not working so it is something it is showing hello cortana hello cortana nothing is this is hello cortana show my calendar show my calendar nothing this is actually you don't need to uh, press the button but it is uh, it's up and means still it is developing show my calendar show my calendar <laughs> tell me about cortana windows 10 features uh, that's it okay it is voice or uh, and uh, text based search are uh, uh, assistant type like a google assistants and siri assistants like a one drive google drive you can use it right one drive google drive and a uh, stuff same thing only okay cortana cortana not cortana so it's a cortana um task view okay mm, virtual desktop at other type of desktop it is a virtual desktop okay so this is uh, another thing so you can see it is task view if i click here so next to the cortana if i click here this is my task view what are the task i have done today okay what are the task are there so not only currently running also closed one also you can able to get it earlier today these are all i closed i think so yesterday like that so you can see whatever i used so the uh, earlier thing it will be shows like that okay next step in this desktop i have opened so many things you can see this is my uh, my notepad this is my uh, ppt okay this is my ppt and uh, this is my uh, virtual machine okay like this multiple things are uh, running so one is excel sheet okay settings paint okay like this these are all things are currently running in my pc right so this is our running in pc this is another virtual desktop you can look at maybe i i don't know whether you can able to see or not this is my other yes, desktop sir. if you see if you i don't know but it is not showing any running applications here my running applications are there applications are running but it does not showing any running applications here i can run different application here in in a, in a, in, a, in a one desktop i use uh, some application in a in a i want to do something like a devops related or maybe python related 
I do it in a another desktop. OK, so I don't need to confuse between one task or one work to another work. For example, I'm doing two projects. One project related work I do in one desktop. Another project related works I can able to do it. So that is task view and virtual desktops. Task view and and can it be combined. Sir. Those files what will be combined. Like we if we open we the different can files in different desktops. Desktop, we can't combine desktop one desktop two. We can't combine. I think so. And even I didn't never done that one. So I just uh, see and leave it. It is not even a new one. It is uh, uh, a very old uh, in a Linux. In Linux, it is called a workspace. In Linux, we call that one as a workspace. It is introduced in Windows 10. So another new feature of Windows 10 is tablet mode. Tablet mode. What is this tablet mode? It converts your regular desktop into tablet. Tablet. So how to go to tablet mode? Guess in a taskbar, you can see the end of the screen. So there is a, a notification kind of stuff is there. You can see there is a tablet mode. It is a tablet mode. So if you click on a tablet mode, the entire our screen is a different. So okay, see in a task bar, you can't see anything task running. Okay. So nothing. So these are the applications are there. So I am searching for a, some application. See, these are a applications. It is showing. Uh, I I don't know whether you can able to see this kind of stuff or not. So, but I am currently scrolled down for a different applications are looking. These are a, a pinned application. This are a, this kind of stuff. Okay, I can't able to see uh, my my running applications also. These are the things. Okay, so again you can convert back into tab normal mode. So this is a uh, my normal mode. OK, so if you want to uh, see, you can see in a uh, your uh, regular desktop also like this. So click here. It is very slow since it is installed uh, from that day onwards. It is. It's very slow. So this is notification area. I clicked on it. So this is a tablet mode. Now it is a tablet mode. OK, it's a tablet mode. You click here all apps. These are the applications. Which is in your system. You can convert it back. By removing tablet mode. Of course, you'll get a lot of other things is like a you know, mm, mobile having a flight mode, same flight mode, brightness mode, silent mode, this kind of modes also available in the Windows 10. Okay, future wise, lot of things are there. Task view, yeah, this is a task view. So nothing, no task is there. So I will open some task here. Slow down system, it is. So I, anyway, I think I showed you task view. Try once task view virtual desktop. What to do if you want to see? Run some two, three applications on your one desktop. Go to task view. Okay. Okay, so this is running application, new desktop. Okay, this is desktop too. Look at here, see? Running one is not showing here. Okay, it is running here. Okay, see like this. This is the virtual desktops. Tablet mode. Wi-Fi. Direct printer. UEFI. Support. 
Tour Board. So this kind of stuff. So yeah, UFI support it is secure, but we don't understand what it is also. Because practically we have never seen what it is. Okay, so guys, Cortana, Credential Guard, Hello features. Okay, Wi-Fi direct printing means if you have a Wi-Fi printer, if you have a Wi-Fi printer, you can take a printout from your laptop to Wi-Fi directly without using Wi-Fi in between. I don't understand. I'll tell you again. Okay, so very simple. I have a printer. The printer is Wi-Fi printer. It is a Wi-Fi printer. Now, recently, Wi-Fi printer is also coming, right? Last time I purchased two printers. Okay, one is at my sister's home currently. I mean, there now, now. So, okay, so one is at my hometown. That is two printers are there. Okay, two Wi-Fi printers are there. I have. So, what have happened? I have a laptop. Laptop also having Wi-Fi, right? So, I want to take a printout from here. So normally you have to connect a printer with a USB connection. Now it is a Wi-Fi. You don't require USB connection directly through the Wi-Fi router. Okay, using Wi-Fi router. So send a print to Wi-Fi router. Wi-Fi router will send like this, right? Anything go through the switch or a router only. Okay, so you given a print. So the network communication go through the router only. But what is this Wi-Fi direct printer? It is your Wi-Fi act like a hotspot. Okay, it connects and give the printing. Connects and give the print. Okay, so that's a very simple Wi-Fi direct print. Okay, Wi-Fi direct print. You can say Wi-Fi hotspot. hotspot your mobile having a Wi-Fi hotspot right same thing you connect a wire connection so you have a laptop and uh, you got a internet uh, network wire network is there wireless network means wired network is there now you want to make your laptop as a hotspot you can make it like this is the internet coming through wire and uh, you, you can make your Wi-Fi as a Wi-Fi hotspot and you want to distribute your Wi-Fi to your mobile phones and other laptops or tablet phones like that. OK, so even we I done that practically we can make this uh, as a, a Wi-Fi hotspot. So somewhere option also will be there. This is the airplane mode. This is Wi-Fi hotspot. Screen snipping. So what is this screen snipping? You can select certain area and also uh, then you can like this. So I sip, snip in new. It is. OK, this is a snip in new feature it is. OK, that is uh, another one. No need of any test book guys if you look at. Airplane mode means it will connect, disconnect like uh, your mobile uh, airplane mode only. In snip Windows Ink. Windows Ink. What is Windows Ink? This is Windows Ink. Windows Ink. We, earlier it is very good, so you can directly write on the screen. Now it is not good, so we will get a whiteboards and also. Uh, full screen snipper. And uh, there is a three dot option also coming. What is this three dots? More learning pen setting is there. So this is my full screen snip. You can modify the size you want to size the modification like that. You can also modify things. OK, yeah, I'm changing this locations. I don't want all these things. OK, yes. So I can do it and also I can write on this thing. OK. Then in, this is feature of Windows Inc. 
okay so last time i tried this one right so like a task manager trying like this so i use a screen snipping So here I'm going to new screen. Okay, so you can look at how much your CPU memory and total memory utilization like this you can able to view it okay so you can write on it so you can close this one like this you can do it so this is a color screen snippet windows ink screen sip both will work if you can write on the screen full screen snip you will get it windows ink workspace so the earlier windows ink is very good this workspace is also okay so now it is we are also we can able to use it projector projector kind of stuff is also uh, there okay here only i covered a few more things right uh, uh, first of all we'll go once again uh, improved cloud cloud i told screen start screen recovery tools Windows to go, Hyper-V, a multi-device support and all synchronization kind of stuff. You don't worry about Action Center, Edge, Microsoft Edge, that is very important. Okay, consolidated setting kind of stuff, I will tell you. Okay, guys, Microsoft Edge is nothing but a default web browser. Default web browser, Microsoft Edge is a default web browser just a browser consolidated settings just the settings what is settings so just go to the setting part so you will get a, a different type of settings here like a, you know system related settings network related setting device related setting application related settings okay so updates security related things accounts related say these are all settings only so you can go to your virtual machine and then go to that options and try uh, what are there then it's also you can learn a lot of things inside okay so that is a consolidated settings back to hours hello windows yellow for business or windows yellow So Windows Yellow is nothing but a so login right related one only. It is login or a sign in related one only. Okay. Like a, how you login with a biometric login. Combo impression uh, kind of stuff is there now. Uh, face recognition. Like this biometric kind of login is a Windows Yellow feature. Mm. BitLocker is a common feature. BitLocker is a common feature. That is okay. So these are the um, some of the important features. Okay, there is a, some other features also available. So at least try to speak about it. Uh, one is your search. Task View, Cortana, Microsoft Edge, Windows Store, Microsoft Store. It is changed. It's earlier it is Windows Store, now it is Microsoft Store. Okay, Microsoft Store, Xbox Support, Microsoft Store. You can login with the microsoft account or office account you can download applications and games as per your requirement just like your android phone 
uh, you can download a uh, uh, required applications. OK, some are like a paid, some are. Free. Some are. Freely can able to download, right? So like that is. Like that only can able to. Uh, it is loading very slowly. OK, I will show you once uh, it is game. And also it support a Xbox game like you have a Xbox gaming console. If you have a Xbox gaming console, then obviously uh, if you you will get an account. OK, so you can link that account here and you can play uh, Xbox games if your hardware is supported. OK, or you can sync or you can purchase the uh, applications and games from here also. Okay, you, you will get this. See, WhatsApp for desktop, Instagram, Telegram, Netflix, applications. Okay, and also games, other apps, Minecraft, <laughs> Candy Crush, Robolex. Some are free games, some are paid games. Are there? OK. Some are with the game passes, some are paid collections. Paid one. You will get it. So this is your uh, Windows Microsoft Store and this one. Universal Windows platform. Last one is. So current one is. Universal Windows platform. Okay. Universal Windows platform is like a Android Studio. What is the use of Android Studio? What is the use of Android Studio? To develop the applications. Develop in Android. Android applications, sir. Very good. To develop or a build Android applications like a, any type, like a tablet for, for purposes, tablet, mobile phone, or a computer like that. Right? Google applications. Same thing. Universal Windows platform is to build or a dollar means really means starting from dollar means ending there. So like whatever it is, build or a dollar Windows applications for Windows Store, Windows OS and mobile. OK, mobile, tablet, Windows OS. OK, so then it is. To develop uh, applications for a Windows operating system. Not like a, a SQL or something, not a big, big one. So usually it's like a mobile apps kind of stuff only. Games. So how you develop and distribute it. So then you can also do it with a universal Windows platform. Okay. Improved device management, Cortana, two hours, remote credentials card. Remote credential guard. What is remote credential guard? Is if you go to the control panel. Okay, if you go to the uh, control panel, uh, you can see a credential card, credential manager. So what is the use of this credential managers, Windows credential manager, web credential manager kind of stuff? Okay, so it is store the username, password, links to also what application I am running from my PC. 
or what application I am connecting from my PCs, it will be there. So very simply, I will tell a remote credential guard, guys. For example, I am using a um, where this is. This is open, right? Yeah. Uh, I am using a uh, Gmail account. So my Gmail and uh, Amazon Prime account, Amazon Prime account, Netflix account, Instagram account, okay. Uh, Facebook account, all are same email ID, same kind of stuff on I'm using. What will happen? Everything sync each other, right? No need to log in. Same thing again and again. So here it is my YouTube. I log in with my Gmail account. So then it is showing mine only. So when I open my Gmail, okay, I log into multiple Gmails here, but whatever it is currently logged in Gmail only it will work as a primary. OK, it is linked to everywhere. OK, you install some application, you install a uh, kind of stuff, same mobile number, same kind of stuff. It restores in your Google Drive in the Android mobile. Same thing, it is credential guard. Your what are uh, your in Windows? What are the accounts you use? OK, what are the accounts you link? OK, uh, that is completely linked to your IDs only so all your saved password kind of stuff. It is like a linking to a service with a service or application with a saved password. Password kind, kind of stuff. Okay. Now well, if you don't get it, that's we'll see once the scenario base you will understand. Okay. So again, so we'll give you one finish up on these features. Guys, Windows 10 features. Okay. So I told some of the features like I copied and pasted a certain features and the requirement to the, do the feature kind of stuff. Very simple it is start screen is a very important feature which is much better than Windows 8 and Windows 7. Next one is and we can able to flexibly we can um, link like a you can say like you can uh, give you can link, you can pin to taskbar, you can uh, run as administrator, you can resize it. So a lot of features you will get it. Okay. Next, uh, yeah, Hyper-V is a virtualization platform. You can create and run the virtual machines. So instead of using any third party tools, built in feature is there. But only thing is only in a pro and enterprise, not in a home. Recovery tools are resetting options. Advanced startup options are there for repair your computer. OK, Windows to go is, is generally it is available in enterprise editions. If you want to carry your entire system, it is difficult. So you can carry your entire system data into your pen drive, just like you copy entire hard disk into your pen drive or an external hard disk. You can connect it to any system and boot with it and you can able to access your computer um, application and data and also Windows 10 support Google Drive guys look at here what are the things you understand that much only you have to speak so yeah, do you understand Hyper-V then speak about it do you understand recovery tools like a reset tools speak about it if you don't understand Windows to go don't speak yet about it okay but read it what is the storage cloud storage we use in Windows OneDrive? That is common, important, like a Hyper-V. OK, next Cortana is a very common voice and text based such as assistance. It is a, like a assistance type Google and Siri assistance. Same Cortana task view. What are the running tasks and previous tasks we run virtual desktop? You can do task in a different uh, uh, virtual desktops. You can run different tasks in a different desktops and no need to one desktop data you can't see from or you can't see from other desktop. OK, so next one is a tablet mode. So tablet mode, we can convert desktop into tablet type of things like a two in one pieces. We use this kind of concept in. Two in one. Kind of uh, PCs or laptops are coming, right? Okay, you can use it as a laptop or a uh, 
tablet to wi-fi direct printer connection wi-fi hotspot both are same okay wi-fi hotspot airplane mode option is there screen snipping or a uh, windows sync space microsoft edge again it is a browser microsoft store so we can access okay uh, we can download applications by freely or a paid and also gaming support is also there you can sync with your xbox uh, account universal windows platforms to build and develop windows applications like a android studio type okay consolidated settings entire all settings we can able to do with the consolidated settings windows hello feature is, is like a how to sign in using a biometric login kind of stuff okay so that's enough for your features guys next part we'll see a uh, few things how to add a user account how to add a uh, user account how to create a disk partition two things i will tell for today okay so take a break for uh, five minutes or 10 minutes maximum 10 minutes so i don't give you late okay so like a morning i don't like earlier i don't do it so 5 35 okay just take 10 minutes break relax